Hey guys, what's up? Bancha here. I wanted to do a video on a Tech Graveyard. I've got uh, the gear acquisition syndrome pretty bad. I've been looking at uh, various audio, video, and uh, photo gear. And uh, I thought I'd look back and see what uh, we've abandoned. These are gizmos and gadgets that are gone but not forgotten. So uh, let's see what we've got here. I'm curious to see what you guys have too. So if you like chiming in later with a video or some comments, uh, feel free to do so. First up, quite regrettably, uh, I've got loads of uh, CF cards from my old uh, Canon SureShot SD, I don't even remember. Uh, I gave it away for some, to someone. So, and uh, you know, I got the SLR and I'm using an iPhone now for my day-to-day uh, -day pocket, uh, you know, point and shoot type camera. So um, it, used S it used CF cards. I bought a whole bunch of these because I went to Thailand many years ago and I thought I would need them and it turns out I kind of didn't. Uh, I forgot how I shot loads and loads of photos on um, just a couple of cards. Maybe, I guess I erased these or something. I, I really don't know. But um, yeah, there's like uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six gigs or so or something here, a little less than that. But uh, it's a darn shame that these are just sitting around. I keep thinking one day, I think I think some of the, the higher end, the full frame cameras, don't they use CF cards? I'm not really sure, but uh, I can't stand to part with these things for some reason. So I'm probably gonna hang on to them. But I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be a new medium or standard to, someday soon. Uh, next up, we've got the old cell phones. I just threw some juice into them about for about 45 minutes. They still power on. Uh, this guy is not, however. Uh, this is an old, uh, I'll go from earliest to latest, I guess. I think this one was my first one. It's a little black, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Samsung. It does have a camera. It does fire up. There's, we've got a wallpaper. It has a cool little, it even knows what day it is and time it is. That's pretty cool. So um, there we go. I like the design of this. I thought it was pretty sleek, and uh, I didn't mind. Uh, I didn't mind having it around. I think it looks, looks kind of cool. Uh, this guy, this guy is probably like the. It did make me prefer candy bar over flip phone, but the construction is really plastic and cheap. You can kind of. I don't know if you can see that. It's, this is sort of coming apart, and that probably has something to do with why it won't turn on. But uh, it did accept charge, but it's just kind of plasticky and it, it's this is really one of those phones you don't want to have to hang on to for longer than you have to and it's got this fun thing remember these antennae what well, check this out kids you don't know what you're missing <coughs> excuse me and last up uh, another samsung uh fun crack in it i don't know if you can tell sorry uh but it, it it too powers up and it knows what day and time it is um so yeah these these just uh, kind of had their day i just I think this is the most recent phone I got before I upgraded to a smartphone. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to do with these. I mean, I guess I could recycle them, but I'm afraid the data will be stolen by bad people and uh, my life will be ruined. Um, I'd like to know if, if any of you guys know I should look this up. I tried, I, I, I failed. Um, so we just mass wipe the phone. Is there a way to format them? Uh, I like to donate them or have them recycled or something like that. Um, all right, so next up is... I believe uh, the this is iPod Classic. I'm told it's called or iPod Click Wheel, fourth gen, uh, last of the iPods that were only black and white. I would power this on for you, but it, it doesn't turn on anymore. The battery is completely dead. I've been checking out videos and all sorts of kits and guides to see if I can crack this open and um, replace the battery or re extract the hard drive or something like that. Uh, I really can't, I, I'll probably need one of those prying tools, but um, I, I'm pressing all over like, like I've been seeing people do and the thing is just not, it's just not popping open. But uh, yeah, this is beloved, it's the 20 gig model. Um, I kind of like holding on to it, I think it looks kind of cool, I just, I just like to, it's just a nice, like, like the term implies, it's just like a nice classic thing. Uh, I really don't ever want to get rid of this and I hope I can bring it back to life. Um, I, this past weekend I did try plugging it into the Firewire port on my MacBook and um, it still boots and it's still, I mean, it, it forgets everything as soon as you unplug it, but um, it still holds, well, no, it doesn't hold charge. You need to keep it plugged in, but you know, I tried putting files on it and you know, they extract just fine. So uh, maybe one day this guy can like kind of be part of the, the little family again. Um, I'll say that when I, when I did plug it in, it was groovy to see in iTunes you know, the three devices, iPad, iPhone, and uh, this, this iPod here. So uh, I kind of like hanging on to old tech. Uh, I don't know. I just, 
Um, this is pretty neat. All right. Next up, uh, more Apple goodies. This is a little bit of an odd thing to show, but um, it is the original hard drive from uh, the MacBook here. It's 120 gigs. Uh, it's the internal. I upgraded it to uh, 500 gigs, which is in here now. Um, a friend at my old job, he helped uh, yank this out for me, and um, he suggested that I get an enclosure for it, which I finally, after many years, got today. It's a next, as you can see, it's, it's still pressing the plastic. Nexstar TX something or other, I'm sure, excuse me, I'll do a video on that uh, soon or at least some documentation photos. Um, I look forward to having this uh, kicking around again, um, seeing if it'll mount and whatnot. So um, speaking of the old MacBook, I am, oh yeah, and, the, and I was going to say, I don't even know why I'm so dedicated to, to kind of having this around. Uh, my, my current storage is fine. I, I have about 100 megs left, like which is like a fifth of the hard drive. I, I think it'll be a way to go. Everything I do is kind of cloud-based now, so there's really, I, I don't think I'll be wanting for storage. Not today, at least. Maybe in like way down the road, but even then, I mean, 120, I mean, 120 gigs, I guess it's, it's a decent amount. It's nothing to sneeze at, but I'm sure in the future, uh, there's going to be a lot more, a lot cheaper. And we've got solid state uh, in the running now, so we'll see, we'll see what happens there. And I really just got sick of holding it in this little envelope under my, my, in my junk drawer. It's just kind of, uh, it's a little disrespectful. I'd like to have something a little more permanent and give this guy some dignity again. So hopefully it will be able to live on uh, in this groovy enclosure here. Um, next up is this little Sony ICD P320 digital voice recorder. Uh, I was in some journalism classes at NYU and for uh, an interviewing class or some, some <clears throat> one of those courses in that series, I had to interview someone and I wanted to record it so I could take the notes and jot them down later and stuff like that. Um, sadly, that's the only time I ever used it and this was not cheap. This was like 50, 60 bucks and I used it once in a noisy restaurant and it was awful. Um, not, not maybe, maybe not the device's fault, but uh, the, the batteries are dead. I mean, I, I did tinker with it with some fresh batteries the other day. Uh, the recording I took of uh, that interview is still in here. And uh, I did try to uh, link it up to the MacBook with the USB slot here. Um, it didn't go. I mean, even on the packaging, it says, you know, Windows only. I, th I just try to give it a chance anyway. But um, it's really regrettable. I would have. It would have been cool if I could. I don't know. Record. I mean, it has internal mic inputs. Sorry, it has internal mic input and output and all that. I mean, I really could have. If it were Mac compatible, I really could have done something with it. Uh, I'm honestly, I'm grateful for uh, my friend the lav mic here. But um, the levels are a little low. If I could get another recorder to boost that up a bit, that would be pretty cool. But uh, I really don't know what to do with this. I've got the original packaging, the instructions. I'm very careful with all my stuff. I, I keep every, my I have cupboards full of uh, original packaging and, and boxes and stuff and manuals. Um, I guess I could sell it. I'm just too lazy. I, I, I'm still embracing eBay. <laughs> I embrace a lot of other things, but eBay and PayPal and all that kind of stuff, I uh, haven't really gotten into that yet as much as I should. Uh, I could give it to some student, perhaps. I don't know. Last but not least, uh, this is a Western Digital My Passport drive. I believe it's uh, 160 gigs. This was the original Time Machine drive to this guy, to the original MacBook. So, but since I removed this and I put the 500 gig drive, this was not enough. So I've got another one currently sitting under there. And that's not the tech graveyard since uh, it's still alive and working for me. So I'd be curious to see what your uh, discarded tech might look like, or just not discarded, rather just uh, gone but not forgotten devices you might have laying around and what they mean to you and uh, why you keep them around, what you might want to do with them in the future. All right, that's it for now, and we'll catch you later. Thanks. Bye.